It's Beer O'Clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Brewery Hoog and it's the Atvelde Grand Cru. It's 7.3% ABV. It looks a decent beer. It's in a 330 bottle. Nice bit of foil gold foil on the neck. Let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. Whoa ho ho! Loads of smoke on the opening. Look at that. Smoking like an old gun. Oh blimey, blimey, look at this pouring out. Do you know what? It, it's, I was in Belgium in August 2015 and I was with the owner of Brewery Hoog and we were drinking together. It was raining, it was outside in the cold um, but it was in front of the, we were at the Palm Brewery and we were standing in front of like a vine of hops doing this beer review. Um, it was it was hammering down the radar. We were under a, like a big marquee tent thing and I was interviewing him and, and we were talking about, I think they produced a beer for ladies or it was, the beer was brewed by women. I can't quite remember the name of the beer but it was definitely De Herg, the, the one with the, the pink elephant on the, on the label. The Delirium Tremens range of beer. You all know Delirium Tremens. Um, anyway, this beer. We're on about this beer now. The De Herg Grand Cru. It's a one finger, slightly off white head. Uh, a nice mahogany, dark, rich, roasty looking beer. Um, nice levels of carbonation. Let's get the aroma. Yeah, and all the aspects of a lovely Belgian strong ale. There's a little bit of raisin in there. There's a little bit of kind of plum. It's very malty. You get a hint of the yeast in there, a fruity yeast. And it smells slightly spicy. Let's dive in. Cheers. Wow, 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 I really like that. Really like that beer, Stone the Crows. Um, it's been a while. Um, it just, as I said, as I was in Belgium, this just takes me right back to Belgium. And that's the quality of a good beer. The reason why I'm involved with beer is because it's a big world out there and every country produces good beer this day and age. Um, there was probably a time in the 1970s and 80s where it was a massive decline beer, but but the the from 2005 onwards, it's been all stations go, all, all hands to the pump, new breweries opening, and and new breweries are all around the world opening, and Belgium are a big part of that still, and. I just love the thought of, the, of, of drinking a beer in my kitchen in Wales in the, when it's dark outside and it's, it's a cold winter's night and I'm thinking back initially with the first sip of the beer, I'm thinking back to Belgium back in August and I'm thinking, yeah, what a, what a good time I had. And that's because I'm tasting a Belgian beer and it's reminding me of, of, of what I used to be able to get my hands on, on keg and cask and bottle. Cheers. Oh, it's so rich and dense and the big th initial thing is the carbonation. It's a big explosion in your mouth of carbonation. And then it kind of leaves this nice sweet malty flavor that mellows down into a nice lemony, rich, still malty, hoppy finish. There's some spice in there. There's some white pepper in there. And for 7.3% ABV, the beer retains its drinkability massively. It's such a big drinkable beer. I like that. I really do like that. Um, I'm going to call it, well, it's, it's a Grand Cru, Belgium Strong Ale, as they say, or Strong Beer, as they call it. Art Veld. Um, since 1654. So uh, when I see the brewery owner, he would have been an ancestor, probably, of, of, of the original brewery owner. A rating then for the Artvel Grand Cru by Brewery Hugh 
you can pick this beer up from beersofeurope.co.uk. The link to the website's in the description box. Rating. I'm gonna give this beer, it's a stone the crows nine out of 10. It's a nine out of 10 from Milo Craft Beer. Any beer from Belgium that takes me back to Belgium is a good beer. Lots of taste, lots of carbonation, lots of flavor, lots of aroma, and of course, lots of mouthfeel. Thanks for watching. Please comment, please subscribe, and cheers.